Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're going to be talking about selling to Tractor Supply Company. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be in their stores or on their website, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to Tractor Supply Company. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So what is Tractor Supply? They are a retailer that actually has 2,000 stores they're currently responsible for. That is tremendous buying power. I love creating these training videos because you guys don't always know about these retail chains and some of you don't even think about something called Tractor Supply. So that's why I'm talking about this to help you guys out. It's an American retail and they have home improvement products, agriculture products, lawn and garden stuff, livestock, pet care, all sorts of various products. The cool part about this retailer is that a lot of your competitors are not even thinking about them. They're even selling clothing and footwear, all sorts of stuff. So they are really kind of a well-rounded retailer actually that you would never think of. The few things to think about in regards to becoming a vendor for them is that they have so many products in their stores and about 15% of their stores currently sell products unique to their region. So the first thing I would say, if you want to become a vendor for them, just remember that you can sell to them on a corporate level, which means you can go to their corporate buyers. And we explain how to approach pitch and sell corporate buyers in our training systems. If you don't know how to do that, called Retail MBA. The links to that is listed below. But if you are trying to reach out to them, just know that you can sell to them on a corporate level and get one buyer to buy products for all of their stores, but they also probably have regional buyers, which means they'll buy products for their certain regions. Usually they have buyers, like even Walmart has this, where they have buyers on a corporate buyer level, but then maybe in the Northeast region or the Southwest region or in California, they have certain buyers who buy by regions. And the reason for that is because it's such a massive undertaking to run a huge retailer like that. So they have buyers kind of working on the regional level. And with that said, if 15% of the stores they have are unique to their store's region, it means that there are buyers who buy a certain types of products for only that area, which means you can technically sell to them on a regional level which in just a couple hundred stores versus thousands. Why does that matter to you? Because maybe you're terrified to sell to a 2,000 store retailer, or maybe you have a product that's really good for say the Miami region, which is warm and sunny versus something in New York where it's cold and freezing in the winter months. Whatever it is, maybe your product is seasonal and it would be good for a tractor supply store for those scenarios. So anyways, that means they have different buyers with different budgets. They also do phenomenally well online, which is actually a different buyer than the corporate buyer. So typically there's buyers who buy on a corporate level. There's buyers who buy on a regional level, depending on how large that retailer is. We've discussed that already. And they also have buyers who buy for their online stores. So there's obviously a lot of room for you and each one of them has their own budgets typically. And they're not always looking for the same things, right? If you sell a product to a physical store, you might need to touch and feel that product in order to buy it. But online, they can put a lot of products online. So don't be discouraged if they say no to you for their physical stores, but then they put you online because you can get access to millions of people and also it's just more room for them to be able to test out your products to eventually put it in stores. It's a good thing. A couple cool things to note is that if you have any pet products whatsoever, Tractor Supply Store is amazing for that. And again, they also have lawn and garden tools, a lot of home goods and stuff. My recommendation is if you live anywhere near a Tractor Supply Store, go there. It's like Ace Hardware. If you go to an Ace Hardware, you always kind of get surprised they sell every type of weird thing you can imagine, much more than hardware. So never underestimate these retailers. The last thing I want to say about this type of retailer is that they are very prideful of their exclusive brands, which means that you could conceivably sell to them under their exclusive brand. What that means is if a retailer has exclusive brands, you can actually contact them. They have certain buyers for that particular category 
And if they buy from you, they will have you put their name on the packaging, meaning that you would have your products in their stores, but it's their branded name on it. The way it works is most people think that their retailer is actually going out and buying these products, you know, typically themselves, like, and then putting their name on the packaging. A lot of times they're buying from people like you and then just having you use their packaging. They literally tell you where to go to get packaging and so forth. They have a companies who run the packaging. So you're like, if your product should be in a box, they'll tell you to go to this location and you know they'll have the product, the packaging ready and you have to add it. So really what that means is they're buying from you and then they're repackaging it. So if you don't care if your name is on the packaging, you should highly explore going to a retailer like Tractor Supply and trying to sell them under their exclusive brand. Why do you do that? Because there's tremendous opportunity there. They buy way more if it's under their brand name. And the problem with, just to be clear, it's not always perfect where they're actually looking usually for a great price because it's under their name, they buy more quantity and so forth. So they're looking for commodity-based products typically for a branded, you know, their branded names. They're looking for products that have great pricing that you can create and sell on a massive scale that if they check out your manufacturing, your manufacturing is sound. These are things that they're going to be looking for. So they're a little bit more stringent with the exclusive brands, but there is a particular buyer who buys for that particular product category. And again, it's just another revenue generator. Some people start trying to sell their product to them as if they were just trying to sell to them as a manufacturer with their brand and everything. And if they get rejected, some of them are willing to go to the company owned option, which is the exclusive brands. It's a business decision. It's something that you would have to decide on, but I've seen people make many, 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 many millions of dollars not caring if their name is on the box. And the other cool part is you don't have to sell all retailers the same way. You can sell an ex your product under their brand name at one retailer, and then you can sell your name on the packaging at another retailer. So it's just a revenue opportunity, and if you're kind of tied on cash and or you don't care, it's a great opportunity. If you wanna know how to do all these things, I mentioned this before, that's what we do. We help people get into stores. We have do-it-yourself options, done-for-you options, all of which can help you get into chain stores, and we've had tremendous success. I've personally taught well over 100,000 people over the last 13 years on how to get products into stores. And for the last 13 years, I've been teaching people my time-tested, proven methodologies on how to get products into stores. And I love what I do, and I'd love to help you. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. Please like, subscribe, keep in touch, and check out all the videos we created. We do a lot of free stuff. Thanks so much.